hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am giving you some deep cleaning motivation there was several spots in my house that just really needed to be deep clean we just kind of passed by it and let it build up first off i'm going to be starting in my room i had already cleaned my room prior to starting filming this video so right now i'm just going to start off with some laundry folding motivation of course i'm always behind on laundry so this is just one load of laundry that i just wanted to go ahead and get up since it was still warm and then i'll put it up once i get to the kids room Moving on to the kids room, even though it might look like a hot mess, it really isn't a hot mess. All it is is just clothes right here in the bed, a few toys that's out. I have a bag full of toys that I need to go ahead and sort through and put them back in there, correct cubbies, and then I'm just gonna make their bed. The main thing that I wanted to get done in this room today was to shampoo the carpet. There was a couple of spots that have been there for a while, so I decided to just go ahead and shampoo their room. Since I redid their room and uh, deep cleaned and organized it, they have been really good at keeping their stuff in these little containers sometimes, especially with the, the boys. They're not always in the right spot, but again, they're kids, so I'm not really worried about that. But as far as keeping their room clean and organized, they have been doing a pretty good job. So if you have small kids, I highly suggest you do an organizational baskets to help them learn how to keep their room nice and tidy. I'm just gonna put up that load of laundry that I folded in my room. 
Again, I am really trying to do better as far as not letting my laundry pile up. I'm really good at washing and folding, but when it comes to putting up, they'll probably be in the basket for a long time. So I'm trying to make it a daily habit to wash, dry, fold, and put up at least one load a day. Now on to shampooing their carpet. I was very surprised at how much dirt came up off of their carpet. I know this is the kids room and they do wear their shoes. I don't make them, you know, take off their shoes when they come in the house unless it's like a snow day or it's very muddy outside or something like that. But on a regular, they don't take off their shoes. But I swear the carpet did not look that dirty to me. Like I said, it was just a couple of spots that I wanted to get up, like something had spilled. But I am so glad that I ended up doing the whole carpet. I am in the market for a new carpet cleaner um, as far as the machine goes. So leave your recommendations in the description, well not the description, in the comment section down below. Sometimes and I can't seem to find a light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind. And then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before. The next area that really needed my attention was the hallway outside of their room. This I I don't even know where to start with this. So the stuff okay, so when I'm downstairs and I'm cleaning, I don't keep coming up and down the steps. So what I do is I put the stuff on the steps and then as I'm going upstairs or as the kids are going upstairs, they have to bring the stuff up the steps and for some reason everything just ends up in the hallway instead of where it actually goes. So now I'm just going to be putting the stuff where it goes. I'm going to be wiping down this little console table i'm also going to be doing the railings because for some reason it was filthy like a lot of dirty handprints and stuff like that and then there was a lot of spots in this hallway this is a high traffic area so there was a lot of spills and stuff like that and i don't know where it came from because they're not supposed to have drinks and stuff upstairs but you know it is what it is so i'm going to be shampooing this area as well but if you keep saying that you've got to leave, then I'm gonna be alright As long as you tell me that we ain't running out of time Thinking about all the things we did tonight, what a time to be alive Just you and I
it's definitely time for my living room to be deep cleaned. I don't remember the last time I did it. And then I am going to be taking off the cushions to go ahead and put them in a wash. Just the seat part. Um, I really don't take off the top part because it's not like one uniformed thing. It's like a lot of uh, cotton in it and it just the kids get to it and it will be just all over and I won't have any cushions um, I like that I can remove these and it's a solid piece at the bottom I probably would not purchase this couch again for the reason of the top pillows but um, the bottom one was the most messy so I'm going to take those off and wash them and then as they are in the washer I'm going to go ahead and continue deep cleaning including moving the couch i think the last time i moved the couch was in well for christmas and i'm so glad i did because you'll see it later in the video there was so much dirt and toys and food and stuff that got in between the little cracks and ended up under the couch All right, so now it is introduction time for all of my new people that are watching. Hi, my name is Rashida. I am a mom of four. I have Giselle who is seven, Malachi is four, Nasir is two, and then I have a newborn who's not even a month at this point. Her name is Naomi. And here on this channel, I like to do a lot of cleaning motivation and lifestyle content like vlogging, day in the lives, cooking, anything that has to do with homemaking. So if you enjoy watching that kind of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We would love for you to become part of our family.
So the video got cut short because baby girl needed my attention and I just went ahead and finished it later but I am going to show you what the end result of the living room. And the last stop on today's video would be the kitchen. If you've been watching me for a while, you see me clean this space a thousand times by now. But the kitchen is the heart of the home for me. It always gets cluttered. We spend a lot of time here, so it does get messy fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that together.
arms and I can't seem to find the light between the walls I built for myself right in my mind and then you came over and you showed me love that I never had seen before and now when I got you it's all gonna be alright thinking about all the things we did tonight what a time to be alive just you and I that is it for this video i really appreciate you guys coming and checking it out if you enjoyed it go ahead and hit that like button so i know what kind of content to keep creating and as always i'll see you in my next one